there and welcome to a new Plugin Guru Power Review video. This is part two of my Absinthe overview with Brian Clevenger. Um, it was supposed to be just a single video, but there was so much we talked about in the interview and there's a lot more tips we're going to share in part two. So I wanted to make it into two parts instead of cutting it down. Since it's free, I didn't think you'd mind too much. Um, this video is sponsored by my website, PluginGuru.com. Um, I have patches for FM8, for Massive, for Stylus RMX, and I also have a drum loop library called Skippy's Beatropolis. Uh, before we get to the video, I also want to point out a couple things real quick. Uh, number one, there is a really usable, fun Absinthe group on the internet. We used to do these things called patch fests, where we'd make patches for like, say, a couple weeks and then share them with everybody. And I want to get back into doing that, but we need more people to join the group that like to program and work with Absinthe. So, uh, go to Yahoo Groups and look for Absinthe and join this group. We need new blood. Also, you should join my Plugin Guru Facebook page. I've got listed up there, there's a $15 No Brains Bundle from a website where you can buy $150 worth of pretty, pretty good effects. It comes as a bundle for $15. Bucks. Um, I also point out free virtual instruments to download. There's uh, new music. I like Trent, Trent Moeller, who's just awesome, awesome music. You got to check it out. A lot of stuff like that. So it's a really cool Facebook page. So join the Plugin Guru Facebook page. All right. Uh, I think it's about, oh, and here's the patches for the Power Pack. April 15th, they'll be coming out. So I'm excited. Hope you're excited. Uh, enjoy part two of the overview, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, so I've got this patch called Morphotronic. And what's great with this is I'm changing these envelope segments with a slider. Not all of them, just some of them. And what we can do is on this page when I play a note, I have a slider here for the pattern. If I bring it up, and oscillator C is actually set to unison, three voices transposed. You can use the transpose to subtly detune each of the voices, but I'm using it to go a wide seventh, so it's a it's a thirteenth, and then I've transposed it to plus thirty one which is a weird value. It's not a, a, a pure octave value, but it gives me the 13th that you'd use in a dead mouth kind of patch. So watch this, I'm gonna bring up the volume. So now I'm gonna bring out some other stuff we have. Let's play with Cloud. Here's what Cloud can do to the sound. Now here's the etherizer. And as I bring up the balance, here's where you do assignments for each of these sliders. When you go to the one for effect balance, wet, I'm having it change the balance of the wet. But if you click add, here's all the parameters. And you can keep adding all the parameters you want to a single slider so that it can be changing a whole lot of stuff at one time. So it's going to bring up the effect time while it brings up the mix. So check out how this sounds. Let's That's just the effect only. So you can create such beautiful, cool new sounds. Listen to that. So the power of this plugin, the shape of the envelopes and everything is just, it's great. So, um, in fact, I got to show you one thing that's the coolest. One of my favorite things with Absinthe, and I don't know of any other plugin that does this. There's this thing called lag, which is on a lot of the, uh, in fact, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's on sure everything. 
if you bring up lag, it slows down that controller. So that normally my pitch bend for two octaves. If you bring lag up to say 350, you've got cool dubstep material right Hit the pitch bend first, let it go through the cycling. And record that, and then record something else and build up the chain for a, a really cool line. When you're on this page, no matter what wave you've selected, any waveform you select you see up here in the corner. And if you hit new, boom, it immediately takes you into the, you see it both as a spectrum, like additive synthesis, and as the waveform it represents. And if you go to spectrum and you change stuff, and you go back to waveform, you see the change to the waveform that you just did. There's all sorts of math things to do to the sound. So. Fractalize is a cool math algorithm applied to it so that and I think it's new to five that you can control some of these parameters now in real time with the waveform, right? With like an LFO. Could you do that uh, before? No. So now you can go to this list Not here really. and you can see fractal displacement and fractal oh, amount. Okay, that's if you're in the fractalize mode of the oscillator right oscillator has a fractalized mode it's controlling that it's it's sort of a real-time oh so you have to be set to fractalize first yeah if you're not in fractalize right yeah wait turn it you can turn yeah turn up iterations turn up amount cool Kind of a sync, kind of a. Yeah, it sounds pretty similar. That's that's a nice sound. I like that. And then if we go to the morph waves, these are waveforms where there's two different waveforms: a starting and a stopping waveform, right? Right. So if we go to LFO, and you can control how it transitions between them. And we change to morph. I think my waveform is still at fractalize. So if I go single, there we go. And again, if you go to like to the LFO, you can now use any waveform shape that you get really complex type. And you can draw your own. LFO waveforms or something. Right. So if you want to say so add, click new. Right. And start drawing. You can play it at the same time in here. This one. This one here is the one that gives yeah, you the that so that way you can just control. Stretch. Then move this somewhere else. Do kind of stuff. Yeah. And there's so many parameters to the etherizer. What's the concept behind the etherizer? Uh, it's a granular processor. It takes the input and um, chops it into little pieces and it plays up to 32 little pieces at a time it has a polyphony of 32 and each one of the little grains can be transposed they can be randomly transposed to kind of scatter the sound around right uh, if you do that a little bit it makes a really nice chorus type of effect right if you turn it up higher then it it you know, makes these clouds sound. Right, so we bring up feedback. Right. And, feed and it's more like a reverb that's, now. Yeah, it's more like reverb. 
the grains are feeding back into each other. Right. And since it's, it's very random and scattered, it makes this pretty nice um, reverb type. And yeah, the stereo image is awesome. And then each of those grains, you can just transpose them. Yeah, they're like a harmonizer. Like a harmonizing. And then the filter. And does... if you turn up the, could you turn up random transpose? Oh, sure, yeah. Random. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, I lost my mind for a moment. <laughs> That's beautiful. Then we add the filter, and we can have. Now, what the filter is doing is each grain has its own bandpass filter right. or a comb filter. You can alternate, and um, the frequency of the filter for each grain is going to be random. Right. So they're all going to play different frequencies, and it makes this uh, well. Right. Like, random yeah. is fairly high to start with. If you bring it down, it's just a filter. Yeah. As you bring it random, kind of all over the place in frequency, too. Yeah. And then if you really want to get interesting stuff, Turn on the filter quantize. Let's say major sevenths. Yeah, major sevenths. As I bring it. So it's it's applying like a chord type of a transposing of the of the right. grains, right? And vowel. Get these vocal qualities. That's nice. Like I've taken the the sawtooth all the way out. It's just driving, and you only hear the signal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Such cool effects. And that's something that's only in Absinthe 5, right? Right. So there's lots of reasons to upgrade. Uh, another reason is the, the, the plug-in Guru Power Pack will only work with Absinthe 5 because I only want to use all the new abilities of the etherizer and all the other waveform controllability for some of the patches that are in the Power Pack. So you have to have Absinthe 5. There's no choice. Definitely. You have no choice you have to get it so well thank you so much it's great to uh go through this with you and i had a good time here cool well thank you so much again thanks for having me all right see you later bye yay